chaos. Or. Oh, man, I keep telling him he's got to stop with that melatonin. But does he listen to me? No, nobody listens to me. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today. This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. And no, the title does not deceive you. This is a uh, new console added to the Chaos Blur family, the Xbox Series S, not to be confused with the Xbox One Series S. Or the, hold on, let me hold the controller so it's actually facing the right way. There we go. Is that, is that on? All right, there we go. Uh, Xbox Series S with a variety of new games, I'm sure. Uh, Game Pass, I really did just get one uh, today, actually. I also got a new phone, which is still uploading or still updating. Um, so, yeah, I got an Xbox Series S. Yeah, it's, it's going to take a while to get used to saying. Uh, not going to be like my main console or anything. I still have the uh, PS5, the Switch, and all the retro stuff that we'll be seeing soon enough. But um, I've been wanting to check this game out for a long time. And, no, this is not the only reason I got the console. But I knew this game was on there, or at least I hope this game was on there. Uh, Spark the Electric Jester 2, and rather than describing it, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So this is like an indie game. Um, you'll, you'll never have heard of this game or these people, but I know it because I'm a big Sonic fan. And a lot of people think this is basically like a Sonic fan game without actually being Sonic. For copyright reasons. We'll find out if that's the case right now. Oh my god, yes. This is like completely the Sonic Adventure 2 title screen with different people on it. I didn't realize that it was this blatant. Like, I knew they used a few things, but this is literally the Sonic Adventure 2 title screen with some different people on it. Listen to the freaking music! Keep normal. I mean, I knew this was going to have some Sonic references in it. I did not think it would be like, Hey, look, it's the SA2 title screen. Alrighty, then. This will be my first game on the uh, new Xbox Series S. Around the time I was born. I guess this guy's supposed to be Shadow. YOLO pretzels. I do enjoy pretzels. One machine produced a virus. It gave him control of all other machines. Wait, isn't this like the Mega Man plot? This machine called himself Freom. Isn't there like a robot virus in Mega Man? I was given a mission to pretend to be one of Freom's machines and backstab him. I assume this is the plot from Electric Jester 1, which I never played. And it was my creator who gave me that mission. Who, Dr. Light? Whoever he is, I just told you, it's Dr. Light. It's still a mystery to me. 
the mission was a complete failure. Just by the way, I'm just going to have him talk as Shadow. I don't know if there's actual voice acting in this game or not. There is a Spark 3, but we'll get to that. Ooh, hello. Wait, why is my name Fark if the... Oh, Fark's the evil one. Who gave me this name of Fark. A lone... Who's, who names their kid Fark? Regular hot pretzels or pretzel sticks? Oh, hot pretzels. I mean, I like pretzel sticks, but I love those... those well, when they're made right. The soft pretzels. Not the ones from the London. Who managed to destroy most of Freyam's forces. That totally looks like Shadow. It's a shame. I was made to look like him in every way. Well, that's obvious. Just is kind of like how Shadow was made to look like Sonic, even though technically Shadow was made first. And yet I failed. Dot, dot, dot. Who really am I? Who am I playing as right now? Fark or Spark? Memory system interpreter log 2.1F. No, Fark. Although, <laughs> Fark's pretty funny too, but it's, it's Spark and Fark, I guess. I don't know. I didn't make this game. Memory interpreter, warning medium levels. Honestly, this is one of those games, I mean, I'm sure the story is just okay, but, like, I just want to play the game. Yeah, the graphics are nothing amazing either. Oh, that was rather quick, if I do say so myself. Oh, my God, this guy kind of does look like Dr. White. This professor-looking guy. Maintenance is done. But to be quite honest, I still can't figure out that body of yours. It's quite different, so I don't think I can do all that much. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem damaged at all. It's definitely special, that's for sure. It's funny is when they just put the text there, you can read the lines however you want. Like, they don't have a voice, so you just make them have a voice. Right, Erm. Um, Fark, that's the name you're going by, right? I'm not very good at names. Why is my name Fark if my... No, whatever. Oh, that's not really my name. I don't know what my name is. Oh, good lord. This really is like the beginning of um, Shadow the Hedgehog. Spark, wasn't it? The one who gave you this name... What? He was quite the fellow. I hope he's enjoying that blank check. Do you know anything about my name? Hmm. Wait, so Spark is the one I'm trying to find or whatever? I don't know. No, I'm, consider me confused. Is there, like, really no music in this part of the game? Like, I'm actually, like... Like, I'm not getting any sound either in the game. Like, that's just how the game is. I assume there's music in this game. I don't know. The Jester, well, Spark. Yeah, there's, like, really no audio in this game right now. I, I assume that'll change. There was just music on the title screen, so I assume there's music in the game. After he managed, it just feels like there'd be music for this or something. Some kind of background. Just awkward. It's completely silent. It's the name Faker mixed with his name. So basically this person just made Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, so that's why. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I really feel like this cutscene needs something, like some music. Now, if you're nearby, we can start looking right away. I must say, I am quite curious. Right, let's do this. All right, first I'll need you to lie down in that bed. Oh, it's the evil one. The evil version of me, who totally isn't Shadow. That's He literally just made the same expression Sonic makes when, like, Shadow takes off. I'm literally playing Sonic, the dollar store version. Fark School. Oh my god, it's Sonic. It's literally Sonic. To be fair, I think Frontiers has slightly better control, like it's a little more precise. Oh, hold on. Oh, this does very much sound like Sonic music. And the training stage is also... Alright, here we go. This is literally a Sonic game. I'm not complaining. It's actually, it plays pretty well. In fact, Sega would be smart to take some tips from this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, hold on. Okay. So, it's A. See, I'm... Gotta get used to that again. They always put the freaking homing attack on a different button. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is literally just freaking Sonic. Plays really well, though. I will say that. Oh, uh, hold on. Pass through at a greater speed. Hold left trigger in B. Oh, okay, that's my spin dash, basically. 
Attack the enemy, X and Y. Oh, so there's a little combat. This actually came out before Frontiers. I won't be using this feature a whole lot. Ah, uh, that was kind of cool, but even so. I do appreciate the, um... Okay, I have a shield. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could use some tutorial. I mean, I've played all the Sonic games, but... Stage complete. Totally not a Sonic ripoff game. It's funny that I get an Xbox Series S and this is the first game I play. Like, this is such a Bobby thing to do. Alright, here we go. God, is it... Listen to this freaking music! This is literally Sonic Adventure 2. I'm loving this, though. Speed dashers, the flowers looking like pinwheels. Although, unlike a lot of modern 3D Sonic games, there's actually multiple pathways in this. Do I have, like, a stomp? No. Well, this game's actually pretty good. I mean, I've been wanting to play this game for a while, so, like, my initial impressions were always going to be pretty good on it. Oh, what's in here? It's not perfect. Like, you can see there's, like, little... It's like a teleporter? Oh, I got, like, a power-up. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's almost like a Mega Man thing. Where's my light speed dash? I like the way he builds up speed. I mean, really, I'm not even joking. Like, Sega should probably follow some of these things for their games. It's pretty well designed. Actually, it almost reminds me more of SA1 than SA2 in terms of the level design. This has me even more interested to check out Spark 3, because I heard they made, like, a lot more improvements, but this is even pretty fun. See, this is the kind of stuff, like, Sega could do. Like, the thing is, like, yeah, the, the lack of a budget does show on this game. Like, you can tell the graphics look a little outdated or whatever, but, like, the ideas are there. And I just feel like Sega, like, just refuses to do stuff like this, like... But this is, like, it's simple enough. Like, it's nothing crazy. I like the little power-ups you get and stuff. Like, this could easily be done for Sonic. Not to keep making everything about Sonic. Let's face it, everything on my channel is about Sonic. I mean, even the level design, it's, like, really well-involved and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I like Frontiers. I really did. But, I don't know, this is just very, like, it's simple to get, but I feel like there's more depth to it if you really look for it. Oh, can I jump up there? I can. And even the platforming, which there actually is some platforming, imagine that, is, like, pretty involved. I mean, I've seen people do some ridiculous things with this game, especially because, you know, much like a lot of the Sonic games, there are ways to kind of cheat it. Like, if you just take a long jump off a ramp, you can kind of end up, like, in a shortcut. I have no idea what the goal here is, by the way. I just ate a ton of pretzel sticks. And we're still on the pretzel thing in the meantime. I'm like, where'd Rem go? Oh, Rem just ate a bunch of pretzel sticks. All right, well, that explains that one. Is that a floppy disk? It really is. Oh, this game is awesome. This level reminds me a little bit of Sonic Heroes. But, yeah, no, this game's great. See, I always thought Freedom Planet was like a Sonic ripoff, but this game is even more so. Oh, these guys are a little tough. Been here just eating pretzel sticks. You really have been. Should I make a new reward for pretzel sticks? You know, I've been trying to think of some uh, new rewards and stuff. Kind of go I do enjoy going to Fred Shanty and maybe getting pretzel sticks. Oh, there's like a little secret area over here. This is also something Sonic games don't really have anymore, like secret areas, exploration, stuff like that. Ah, I'm just enjoying the game. That's just me, though.
See, I've always wanted Sonic games to involve more ramps like this. Like, ramps used to be huge in Sonic games. Like, just going up and down ramps and stuff. Oh, there's the goal. As denoted by the clear goal marker. Oh, that was pretty fun. You can't tell me that's not the SA2 title screen. You just can't. Like, there's even a Rouge the Bat character, whoever that purple female robot was. All right, got a nice little world map here. We got FM City, FM Downtown. I like that. Simple. Get to the point. FM Downtown. It's basically the same stage, but at night. More catchy music. Oh, uh, he's got the spikes on him, so I got to think of another way to hit him. So enemies just kind of keep coming out of there, huh? The hammer actually kind of weighs me down a little bit. She's the... Pr Who the hell's the pretzel? Pre That's actually not a bad name for, like, an anime character or even just, like, any kind of cartoon character. I, I kind of like that. The pretzel princess. The pretzels. I don't know. I took it too far. Hold on. What's... Oh, okay. That's how you do the stomp. So there is a stomp. Oh, what's this? I get, like, a little ice sword? Oh, these enemies, like, kind of pop out of nowhere, though, I will say. Yeah, prin well, now that's almost like the German word for princess, to be honest, princess. And... Well, German. No, that really is how you spell it, or pretty close to it. We would need Big Mac for the final authority on that one. Oh, I can't. Well, he can. If I'm a robot, shouldn't I, like, not be going underwater? Whoa. Okay, that's an obstacle. I thought that was an enemy. Oh, that's a checkpoint. How's Skittles? Oh, he's pretty good. I was wondering when he would get mentioned on the stream. All right. Whoa. I did not realize this was this deep of an underwater chamber. I kind of like that, though. Wait, did I just go back to the beginning of the level? I think I did. Oops. It's because so many of these areas look the same. Well, you didn't hear from me. This is the kind of game that, like, I just looked at this game and I was like, this game looks like I would love it. And so far, anyway, and it's been a short time, but it has not disappointed. That disappointed me because I'm just terrible at jumping over things, but... Gonna lurk for a bit. Well, at least you admit it this time. Sometimes I'm like, where do people go? And I'm just like, they're lurking, but... Yeah. Woohoo! Wow! Okay, so homing attacking them really doesn't do anything. Are you getting more pretzels? Oh, well, you can't answer that. You're lurking. So there's a couple different ways to go here, it looks like. Which I like. Love the music, by the way. Whoa. This almost reminds me of a Crash Bandicoot level. The underwater ones, obviously, because that's what we're doing. So yeah, I'm going to be a little bit biased here, but obviously I love this game because it's basically just like 3D Sonic, but actually a little bit better. And yeah, I said it. It's not impossible to get better than some of the 3D Sonic games. That's the thing, is I feel like Sega's really missing an opportunity here. Like, this is so much, this place so much better than, like, uh, what is it, Frontier Cyberspace levels. Like, this is, like, it's still fast, but it's not, like, uncontrollable or anything. I don't know, I think it's really well made. I don't think anybody, I don't think that was, like, a controversial opinion or anything, but still. Just like to throw it out there, Spark the Electric Jester 2 so far. It's kind of just what I wanted it to be.
Ooh, boss. The Rhino Dino. Okay. I actually don't know how long this game is, so we'll see. It could be a short stream. Either way. Oh, it's a Sonic Adventure cutscene. For some reason, these cutscenes have no music, and they just have really weird sound effects. You want to know your name. God, you're pathetic. Where's the doctor? Oh, Dr. Robotnik? Nothing you'll be able to find. I feel like this is just going to be like one of those character battles from Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Heroes where you just run around and try to zap each other off the platform. I want to try out this little thing. It's just some robot I found laying around. Oh, okay, so it's going to be more like a Crash Bandicoot boss site where the person summons this giant minion or something. I it's more of a Mario thing. Who am I talking to? I don't know. Oh, it's an evil robot. Rhino Dino. Totally not Sonic inspired at all. Pairing attacks with your shield is the best way to fight bosses. Doesn't seem like I'm really hurting him. Where's his health? Oh, down there. The thing is his enemy, just like in SA2? Okay, that's hurting him. Bosses were never really the strong suit of games like this. It's more about the platforming and stuff. It's still not bad. Oh, God, it's even doing, like, a techno, like, rock song. I mean, come on. Just call yourself SA3 and be done with it. Did it crush 40 to sing this? It's even, like, the same singer. Oh, yeah. No, I promise I will try my best to stop comparing it to Sonic Adventure 2. It's just very hard. Oh, what do I get? Like my final hit or whatever? I was gonna say, like, what was that? What was the point of that? It was just kind of like frozen on that screen for a second. Stage complete. Yeah, good time. Are there really no music? Are there really? Is there really no music in any of the cutscenes? That will be a bit of to get used to. Who the heck is that? What? Hello. I'm your friendly little mage, Romalo. So now we're bringing in, like, Zelda elements? Or Zelements? What? Who? Yeah, hey, I'm as lost as you, and I'm playing the game. Well, I kind of helped Spark defeat Freedom. I'll be honest with you, I don't know the story of this game. I'm not going to pretend I know about the story of this game. Anyways, now I'm disconnected from the net, so I don't think I'll get it again. Also, all the characters sound like me now, because I'm just doing all the voices. I'm just here because Freedom's at it again. Ah, oh, dang it, Freedom, you're at it again. Oh, what do we have to do to stop you? Oh, yeah, I'm also here because of the doctor. I guess that's Robotnik, I don't know. After all he did for me, I couldn't just let it happen. Plus, I have a lead. You got the Xbox. Hey, you don't know that. Okay, so now you know that. What's going on? How you doing? Thank you, Z-Shads. Um, unfortunately, I was not smart enough, or I somehow screwed up, and it didn't sync with my other Xbox account. So now I have two Xbox accounts, one that has Game Pass and one that doesn't. The one that doesn't is, of course, my Xbox 360 persona. This is my new Xbox Series S persona. Uh, I have no idea how that happened, because I figured I set them up with the same email address, so I thought it would just transfer over anyway. Getting back to the game, this is uh, Spark the Electric Jester 2. Um, if you like Sonic Adventure 2, you'll definitely love this game. Uh, if you like good stories, you'll be confused as hell. That's all I can really say. But welcome to the stream, Shads. Nice to have you here. You know what I really needed today, and I didn't know I'd be buying it so soon, but I needed the 13th console, because that's this is my 13th console. You can't see it when I'm pointing at it. I'm pointing at it. It's, it's it's in there. But, you know. I have no idea who she is either. I guess she's Amy Rose. Because everybody so far has been a ripoff of some Sonic character. I just haven't been able to put a finger on it. Show how small it is. Show how small it is? It's not that kind of stream, I'm sorry. 13? Uh, I actually think it might be more than 13, but 13 that are currently hooked up. Hold on. I can do this real quick. Uh, PS2, Wii U, Dreamcast, Xbox 360, PS4, GameCube, Switch, that's 7. Um, Xbox Series S, that's 8. Genesis Mini 2, that's 9. RetroCats 10, Retron's 11. I mean, it's only 11. It might only be the 11. Well, that's 11 that are hooked up. Then why am I missing HDMI ports? I don't know, there's too many things. 
Did I get the Wii U? Yeah, I got the Wii U. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here. Anyway. It's small enough to fit in this setup, so that's really all you need to know. Oh, I didn't think I counted the PS5. That puts me back to 12. It's at least 12. I don't know. I didn't count the 3DS, because there is a 3DS on that desk, but that's not hooked up to anything. It's just a 3DS. I have no idea what this story is, but don't worry about it. We, we, we will get back to the game. Also, how you doing, Imperator? Thanks for joining us today. Oh, uh, let's play a little Floria Highway. You tell me. You tell me. I'm not even going to say anything. You tell me if this reminds you of a Sonic game. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just see everything as a Sonic game, and this has nothing to do with Sonic whatsoever. You tell me. Because, hey, maybe I've just played too many Sonic games, and I don't know. I might not know any better. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, you're right. This is nothing like a Sonic game whatsoever. I don't know why I would get that impression. Yeah, no, nah, you're right. It's not. It's not a Sonic game. The music is totally not generic 90s rock while I homing attack into stuff and slash it and, and hit it and, and go on a thing called Floria Highway with a bunch of bra branching pathways and something that looks very much like a spin dash. But you know how that goes. Oh, what's that? A bumper? A bumper with a star on it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love this game. He also controls better, to be honest. He controls better than Sonic in these fast environments. And there's actually platforming. Imagine that. So I've not gotten used to all the controls. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, how many lives do I have? How many Chaos Emeralds do I have to get? No, oh, sorry. I'm still thinking about Sonic. Uh, what are the things in the bottom? I actually don't... I think I can hold, like, four power-ups, right? Okay, that's pretty cool. I actually just realized that. Power-ups are kind of cool. Oh my god, these are the things from City Escape. I'll wait till you see the title screen if you think I'm kidding. That's why I wish Big Mac were here. Of course, I always wish Big Mac were here, because he's just an awesome guy like that. But, um, it, this pretty much feels like Sonic Adventure 2, which is, like, one of his favorite games, I know. Hopefully everybody's having a good day today. It's a Monday, which I know is kind of like a mad day for a lot of people. Not, not to make it all about me, I'm having a pretty cool day. <laughs> Got a new phone as well, sitting over there somewhere, updating or some crap, I don't know. Alright, so the control is not perfect, but it's really hard to keep something going this fast and also have it, like, control really well. We'll say the combat is a little weak. That's why I generally don't do the combat. I just kind of jump over enemies, or maybe I do the, the jump dash into them, which just kind of looks like the homing attack. But it probably isn't. Yes, welcome to this thing of ours as we continue to add consoles every day. Pretty soon we'll have absorbed them all. I think this is the first time because I think the Xbox Series S is technically a competitor to the PS5. I think this is the first time I've ever had all three of the current gen consoles while they're current gen, like Switch, uh, PS5, and Xbox Series S. I don't have an X, I don't have the other one, the X, the X, but Jesus, this is such a Sonic level. Whoa, that was close. All right. But I did not. 
So, at least for now, wh whatever it comes with is what I got. And of course, I'm in the process of downloading Forza Horizon 5. Oh, that's a big robot. Oh, there's a boss right in the level. That's pretty cool. Um, play on, what is the game? Yeah, Forza Horizon 5, which is like 126 gigabytes or something crazy like that. Jesus, that's an excessive amount of attacking. So we'll see how long that lasts me. Forza, it sure is. But, you know, the, the okay thing is that I can just delete it if I don't want it or whatever. Holy crap, the, the frame rate went down to like 5 frames per second when I did that. But to be fair, this is not a big budget game, which I keep saying... Sega could learn something from looking at games like this. Like, it's not a big budget game. If you're playing Ultimate. Okay, tell me that's not the Sonic Adventure 2 title screen. Just try to tell me it's not. I'm sorry, it is. Ah, another cutscene. Damn it, I do not like these cutscenes. Yeah, there's also some Mega Man references in here. So play it without downloading. I don't see it. Alright, fine. You can, but isn't that like streaming where I feel like it would run at like five frames per second, which is why I don't do the PlayStation version of that. Because I know you can stream games on PlayStation as well, like instead of like downloading them. If this is what Freedom wants us to do, I guess we'll have to do it. That's what we will do. How many times did they just say the word do? We will do what we have to do. Just do it. I guess we do. It's just awkward how there's no music during these cutscenes. It's just the sound effects. You know, this has been a great fight. Fighting for the liberation of robots and all, which is totally not a Mega Man plot. It's really sad to see it come to an end now. I know, I, Can I just... Okay, I could skip it. I was like, I'm just gonna skip this, because I, I have no interest in any of this. So hold on, stage... I don't know how many stages are in this game. Watch it only be like ten stages would be done in like an hour. Uh, alright, so this is Floria Plant. Again, I wasn't expecting, like, an amazing game, but this has so far exceeded my expectations. I wanted them to bring this game to Switch. They never did. I would totally buy it again if they did. Because, yeah, this is not a free game. I did pay for this. With my own money. Wait, there's another boss creature? This guy has his own enemy meter? Okay. Okay. It's actually, level design-wise, reminds me almost exactly of a Sonic Heroes level. What's kind of cool is, though, I feel like there's certain places you can get to that you're not really supposed to get to. Like, I feel like you're not supposed to be able to get up there, but I just kind of, like, cheated it a little bit. I don't know why I like that. It doesn't sound like it'd be a good thing, but I don't know. It's kind of fun. I feel like the lava is probably instant death if you fall in it. I don't really want to find out. Anybody here Power Rangers fans? See the uh, new special that came out about Mighty Morphin? I know Toaster is. Toaster's not here at the moment, though. Watch out. This game is actually really good. <laughs> like, this is legit better than Sonic games that have come out. From Sega. Well, obviously, from Sega. Who else would it be? Parry system is a little clunky, but I feel like they just kind of added that. I am a fan. It's a really good game. It takes a little getting used to. The controls aren't completely refined. But that's what I mean about it being a lower-budget attempt. It's still... Better than, like, half of what Sega puts out. Even with that disadvantage. Because, I mean, yeah, I guess, like, you know, the budget would affect stuff like the graphics and stuff like that. But, I mean, you can still make a really good control scheme, I'd imagine. I've never tried to make a video game. But you can make a good video game on a low budget, control scheme-wise. Plus, I like these little hidden floppy disks they put in there.
There is a Spark 3 that I guess is better than this, but this is already a good starting spot. Hey, look, the floor is made of lava. It really is. Shit. Oh, okay. There's like one inch of lava there. I thought I fell into it. Ooh, that time I did. I guess it doesn't kill you then. It just hurts you. What the hell? Oh, that was just me being an idiot. But okay, yeah, it, it, it does hurt you. It doesn't kill you. I figured it hurt you. Random loop the loop. Hey, everybody, if uh, Big Mac shows up, uh, don't, um, don't, don't tell him. I want to see if he figures it out on its own, that this, this game feels like a certain game. But yeah, now, the Power Rangers special, that was, that was something. What is kind of weird is if you let go of the controller, he does keep going for a little bit. I just wanted to see that. Well, that's pretty good, though. It's all good. Oh, okay, that's pretty trippy. Whoa! Okay, we're running on the walls now. Whoa, okay, I can't run on the ceiling when you don't have enough speed built up. That makes sense. By the way, all these levels are better than Sonic Forces levels. Like, there's so much more thought put into them. Even if there's not as much thought put into the art design, which looks exactly like SA2 Battle. Alright, so it seems like there's two, two levels, then a boss, and the pattern seems to repeat. We'll see how long it is. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, there's your title screen that doesn't look anything like SA2, apparently. Your cutscene looks nothing like a Sonic cutscene. Well, these bosses are pretty easy. You just time your parry to the, like, red blinking and then keep hitting them. Whoa, okay, hold on. Spoke too soon. There actually is an attack. Cue the heavy metal music. Did Crush 40 actually do the soundtrack for this game? Because I am pretty convinced they did. In the voice of evil! Oh, actually, I'm losing health here. You really just gonna sit there and let me wail on him? Apparently. Every obstacle, I stop myself from saving something. Yeah. I can make fun of some Sonic music like the next person. I mean, it's a pretty easy joke to make. That boss is actually a little bit easier than the last one. Oh, I got a gold medal thingy. I'm 
Turbo Bird. Floresta Blanca? I don't even know what that means. I mean, it's a forest level. I get that, but... Oh, holy crap. No, it's not. It's completely a Sonic Snow level. I mean, look at this with the freaking checkerboard trees and stuff. Oh, this is awesome. It almost has like a Sonic CD feel with the music. I would totally play this game more. Like, this game's great. This game does have less poppin' than Sonic Frontiers, though. Although not as good graphics. But, still. No poppin'! Got that going for it. See, this is almost like... It plays like Sonic Adventure 2, but it has, like, the old-school Sonic aesthetic. I just died. It has the old-school Sonic aesthetic with this kind of level. But the beginning levels felt more like Sonic Adventure 2. Hey, what's going on, Queen Bee? Thanks for buzzing on by. We're playing some Electric Jester 2 on my new Xbox Series S. Well, not my new. Well, I mean, it is mine, but like, it's not that new. The see, console's been out a couple years or whatever, but whatever. We're playing some video games. How are you doing today? Thanks for joining tonight, whatever time it is for you. I feel like this is one of those games that's more fun to play than to watch. I feel like to watch it would get a little repetitive. Ow. Wait, why is there lava in the ice level? You know what? Screw it. Why isn't there lava in the ice level? Whoa! Almost fell off. Oh, that hurt. Ouch, that hurt. Yeah, earlier in the stream, um, Shad's asked me, and I'm not even, like, making this up. He asked me to show me how, show him how small it is. That's, that was his, those were his exact words. To say that I was offended, well, that would be an understatement. Yeah, no, nah, it was really on live Twitch. That's what he said. That's what you said! Go back and look at the log! I wouldn't have believed it myself, but I was here, and I remember all too well like it was earlier today. Oh, I'm dead again. Screw you. I think you said that, too. Well, you just did say it, but I think even before that, you've said that before. I, You know what? In retrospect, I probably should have, but I was too busy trying not to be more offensive than I already am most of the time. I really got to figure out how to use the stomp more effectively. The box of X is pretty much just this. Uh, the controller that came with it. And, you know, like I said, I'm downloading Forza right now, but I do have uh, two months free for, what is it, Game Pass. So, I'll be taking a look at a lot of those games. Who knows what will be... Oh, I didn't realize these were seesaws. Holy crap, okay. That changes my approach a little bit. I thought they were just flat platforms. Yeah, does anybody know why it's called the Xbox? Like, what does that have to do with Microsoft? Like, is X just their favorite... Power Wash Sim Stream. Hey, that would be a fun one. Maybe uh, next time. Oh, on Retromania. Yeah, if anyone knows any good games that are on uh, Game Pass, I know my friend Bex was suggesting a few that we might see in the coming days and weeks. Because you know me, once I start a game, we, well, we see the end of it eventually, but it takes a while. Damn it. Damn it. 
Damn it, this is hard. It's harder than it looks. It doesn't look that hard, but it, it is. Yeah, I know. Another line that you can use for your stream. Uh, shads. It doesn't look hard, but it is. Oh, spinning rotisserie spikes are really doing me in today. Ouch. Ouch. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to die again. I don't know. I guess it's just unlimited lives type of deal. Oh, I did lose my power up, I think, because I died while I had it. Oh, Jesus. All right. Really? There we go. This isn't, like, wildly difficult, but you do have to think a little bit. Oh, I was going to say, this has got to be some kind of boss. This is kind of cool. Tag for making games called Direct X, and they wanted to call it Direct Xbox. Wait, is that really the story? I mean, I I've heard of Direct X. Plus, I feel like that would be just kind of lame. It would be like calling it, like, graphics chip or, like, Radeon 3 or something for the console. Like, you don't just call the console what powers it. Like, you would just call it something else. I don't know. I mean, not that Xbox is all that impressive of a name. They just took the word direct out of it. So am I to believe that this is not a direct Xbox? This is an indirect box? It doesn't just make its point? It's got to go around and around in circles? I don't know if I like that. Microsoft wasn't original. No, I wasn't. They're still not. It's not even showing me the name of the level. That's got to be a good sign. I, I could care less about these people. How about Castella Blanca? Ah, it's like the last level, but I can see better. Oh, I love this music, though. Oh, listen to this music. This music's banging. Whoa, spooky. Ouch. Oh, this almost reminds me of Hang Castle from uh, Sonic Heroes. Including the music. Yeah, you know, I never had anything against the Xbox consoles. I have an Xbox 360. I still play it a fair amount. I've been playing it a bit more since my games didn't carry over. But, um, that's kind of cool, going to 2D a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I, I, I jumped on the Sony train around PS4, and, I mean, I'm still on it, but, I, I don't know, for a good price, which this was, and the Game Pass thing, I was like, eh, I'll take a shot on it, why not? So I get some extra games I can stream out of it, and definitely, I've always loved this controller, like, no matter what <laughs> games they put out with this thing, like, this controller is freaking sweet. I've always loved the Xbox controller, uh, at least the, the more modern one. Oh, this is totally Hang Castle from Sonic Heroes. I just realized that. With that teleporter thing and the flipping gravity. Oh, okay. My first was 360. You know, I actually had, um... Oh, it's more colorful. Oh, they're more colorful, though you can get, um... What do you call it? You can get the Sony controllers in other colors. Although, you're right, the buttons are still all the same color, whereas these have different color buttons. Yeah, I actually had three Xbox 360s, not on purpose, because they kept dying. Although, to be fair, Microsoft replaced them both for free, the, the ones that broke, and then I eventually upgraded my 360 to the black, um, what do you call it, the elite level or whatever, obviously I had to pay for that, but my original Xbox 360s, two of them bricked, and one of them not didn't last that long at all, one of them lasted a couple of years at least. But yeah, I like that controller too, but the Xbox One S controller is like, even better. Whatever this, whatever this thing's called. I got confused with that, too. Because the name of the last, like, Microsoft console was Xbox One. Then there was Xbox One S. Now there's Xbox Series S. It's like, what? So what am I... They're like, oh, you want the Xbox One S? I'm like, I don't know. Do I? Like, I don't know what this thing is. Just call it something normal. Call it, like, the Xbox Four or something. Like, as, as much as I get on Sony for their unoriginal naming, at least I know which one's which. Whoa, here we go. Confusion 2007 would break. 
Yeah, I remember the PS3 had a similar issue with that as well, although not as bad as the freaking uh, Xbox. God, the Red Ring of Death got me twice. It's, it's only a weird name because they called their last thing, well, one of them, the Xbox One S or whatever. They should have just called this, like, the Ultra Xbox or something. I don't know. How hard is it to think of names? Like, Nintendo had this down 30 years ago. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, like, those are all different things. Well, honestly, I would have gone with Mega Nintendo or Ultra Nintendo or Hyper Nintendo. Hell, I wouldn't be against Nintendo making their future consoles just named, like, you know, different things like Hyper Nintendo, you know? Like, just keep going up in levels. But that's a whole other thing. I think that'd be a nice callback. Like, instead of doing Switch 2 or whatever the rumors are, like, I, I, I don't want it to be called Switch 2, first of all. Because that just gets confusing, because they made more than two consoles. It would just be the second Switch. They should call it, like... Well, they could do a throwback called Super Switch, but I would just do, like, Ultra Nintendo or something. I don't know. I know it won't happen. They're going to probably just call it Switch 2. Switch... That would be pretty cool, too. That would be a reference. Like, Game Boy Advance. I like that, actually. They probably won't do that either. It's like, Nintendo likes to literally re-release their stuff, but they don't do the little clever callbacks like that would be. That would be a nice callback. I like that. Queen B, you're on the marketing team. Watch out. There we go. But yeah, that would be a callback. Switch 3D. Well, wasn't it always 3D? Not always. Dang, this level's awesome. Switch U. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, the last time they tried to make a sequel to one of their systems, rather than Super Nintendo, we see how that worked out. Wii U, even though I like the Wii U. But it's like, you know, it's the Wii, but now it's got a U with it. Oh, Jesus, I keep forgetting these things just show up sometimes. Whoa, I'm not quite sure where to go here. How do I find you on Xbox? Very carefully. So, as Bex found out earlier, if you type in SF287, you'll find my Xbox 360 account. You won't find me. I am actually under SonicFan287, all spelled out. How that happened, we don't really know. But that is my Xbox Series S username, actually. Um, I don't know where it is now. But hey, this uh, freaking um, Forza is still downloading. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I thought it used to show on the home screen, like, all the time. I don't feel like going back to the home screen. Ouch. But yeah, SonicFan287. Spelled just like it sounds. Oh, the fun we could have. I'm still waiting for us to play more Smash Brothers or Mario Kart. I don't think there's a two-player mode in this, unless they really copied Sonic Adventure 2 and just, like, copied the two-player mode. Oh, look at that. It's right there on the stream. I like your little avatar, though. It's pretty cool. Ooh, a hammer. Give me that hammer. How do I pick up the item? Or can I? How do I get up there? Or do I? I think I have to get up there. Oh, hold on. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is the only way I can think of. Just wall kick off that. There we go. Sort of tricky. I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. Because the arrows are going opposite, but maybe not. Whoa, it actually shows up on my computer, too. I keep forgetting, like, this stuff's all connected. Like, it just showed up on my computer, even though I'm, I'm on the Xbox, so I saw it on the big screen there. Okay, how hard is it to follow arrows? Apparently, for me, very hard. Whoa, okay, we've fallen. Whoa, okay, there, was, there actually was some pop in there, by the way. But still nothing compared to Frontiers. Half the game pops in. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was probably my favorite level. My favorite Sonic Adventure 2 inspired level. Although, actually, more of a Sonic Heroes design at the end there. Hey, freaking out. You know, I like the Xbox a bit more. 
Yeah, well, as you guys know, I kind of just want to forget about my PC. Like, that's why I didn't get this game earlier, because this game is on PC. Okay, I really don't care about this. Oh, it's a boss time. Wait, is this platform, like, actually... Yeah, there's, like, so many good games where I'm like, oh, this thing's, like, only on PC. I'm like, well, I'm never going to get to play it. So that, that was, like, one motivation to get this, because I'm like, well, a lot of times if they're on PC, they're also on Xbox. So at least I have that. But there's also very few games that really treat me that much, to be honest, like, on any console. So you know, the odds were fairly for me, you know, still preferring the other consoles. But I'm still going to play this, obviously. You will get a better lappy. Yeah, we'll see when that happens. Actually, even if I had a better laptop, I probably still wouldn't game on it. I'm just so used to console gaming now, it's just hard for me to go back. What the hell is happening? This feels like a Kingdom Hearts fight. Like, it just feels like I'm in some Kingdom Hearts Shadow Realm or something. I have to, like, save the friendship or something. What is that evil sun-looking thing in the background? Is this, like, the end of the game already? It better not be. I was just, like, starting to get into this game. This feels like a final boss type of deal. It's almost difficult, too. Now, I think I saw more on that world map. There's gotta be more. Maybe there's not more. Maybe that's why the levels are so big, because this is, like, the whole game. I'm trying very hard not to stand in that... Well, I just stood in it. The little circle there. I feel like that's probably bad. Alright, well, if that was a final boss, it's, it was kind of cool looking, but it really wasn't that difficult. But maybe not. So I feel like counting levels and bosses, that was still only, like, ten levels. And, like, well, seven levels and three bosses or whatever. I don't know. I guess I'll watch this. I really don't like to watch these cutscenes. I'm not going to watch it. It was kind of making me uncomfortable, to be honest. That's an awful lot of saving it's doing. Reminds me of being on my computer. But yeah, I got my uh, Xbox One... Not my X. See, I keep doing that. Actually, I already have an Xbox One controller, believe it or not. But this is my Series S. This is a lot of saving. Everything I own is just, like, completely just bricks itself. Unable to reach and data was not saved to the cloud. What? I'm like, but that means my stream wouldn't be working. Which, knowing me, it probably isn't. Save complete. Uh, see, this is literally what I'm talking about, and I want I want that to play my games. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, let's let's try streaming the games. I'm sure that would go great. Can't even stream a save file. Stage seven, Shantoria Town. Well, at least the game's not over. Although these levels do kind of all look the same, I'm just gonna go out and say it. I think that last level was like my favorite, though. That was a really good level. God, this even sounds like... This This feels like the final couple levels, but again, we'll see. But, like, this reminds me of, like, Final Chase, Final Rush with Sonic and Shadow. The way the music is, anyway. Ooh, enemies. Oh, wait, you can just dat? Oh, my God, that makes that so much easier. Why do they always have me charge it? Oh, hell yeah, I'll just be hitting this. That's right, I keep forgetting I can do that. Yeah, I'll just be hitting the R button... Which I should have just remembered from, uh... Oh, you heard correctly. And no, I will not show you how small it is. You can ask your brother about that one. hey -oh. But thank you for joining the stream, as always. Playing some Spark the Electric Jester here. Oh, this makes the game a lot more fun. When I can actually remember to hit the dash button. I think I only have a limited amount of dashing, though. That's why I don't use it more often. I know, Zero. I'm not going to let you live that down. Ah, uh, I mean, Chad's. Ah, uh, you already know. Oh, that's even worse. I was trying to have a whole joke here. You just made it, be like, ten times worse. After... Oh, my God. So, nobody tell him. Uh, what, what game does this remind you of, just off the cuff? Like, nobody give him any hints. It's a completely original game. Do not steal. Really? See, I didn't get that. I, I didn't think it was anything like whatever that was you just posted. Oh my 
God, where did actually where did you get that emote? That's a really cool emote. That's like from the old cartoon. Whoa. Okay. For some reason, I thought that like went down. It, it does not. I mean, I went down, died. Yeah. It Crash Bandicoot. Really? Okay. That's that's fair. Actually, some parts of this game do remind me of Crash Bandicoot. Just not any of these parts. That water level reminded me of Crash Bandicoot a little bit. Well, I don't know if you were on the stream at that point where I was under underground with the water pipes and stuff. That reminded me of a Crash Bandicoot level. I mean, I hope this game isn't over yet because I'm actually really enjoying it. It just feels like a final level type of place. Uh, maybe a little. Okay, definitely not Sonic, huh? Now you're just being a jerk. Just wait till you see the pause menu again. All right, all right, fair enough. Yeah, not for everybody. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, crap, okay, I just fell off. Didn't even do anything. I think I just tried too hard. Rayman. Oh, yes, yes. When are they going to make another Rayman game? Because i got to say, the last couple have been very good. Well, at the same time, maybe it's almost good that they just end on a strong note. I guess that new Crash Bandicoot, like, Wumpa League game released late, uh, like earlier at some point. I don't know. I, I'm a little bit interested in that game, but I'm not going to, like, get it day one or anything. Give me Crash 5, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm getting my butt kicked by this thing. I'm actually surprised that level was as short as it was. Not that it was that short, especially, like, a game like this levels have been about this length, but since it's a later level in the game. Will I watch the cutscene or not? Okay, there's not even going to be a cutscene. The game's like, I'm done with this. Technoria City. I'm just trying to, like, look around this world map. I just, I feel like I'm getting toward the end of the game, but I shouldn't speculate. We'll just see what happens. Oh, this even feels like a Sonic cutscene. I don't know how a Sonic cutscene feels, but that's how this feels. And yes, there was a Spark 1, from what I understand. It was almost like a 2D Sonic game. Hello, can you hear me? No, I can't, because there's like no audio in this part. I am Clarity. Freon is back. You are the only one who can stop. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, I've pretty much ignored most of the story to this point. Oh my god, it's a, it's a Sonic Casino level. Oh my god, the music, dude. This is like freaking Bad Future Star, Stardust Speedway. Which I know I just said a sequence of words that only I understand, but... I understood it. Whee! I'm a fan of this section. hey -oh. I made a funny joke. Everybody must laugh at it. Is that a billboard of me on the... That's such a Sonic Adventure 2 thing to do. But it's like one of those... It's like how 90s games used to do that with, like, 3D games. The billboard would just be, like, a JPEG from Microsoft Paint. Just, like, posted in the background. Wee! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have nothing to do with this. Why would I jump over that? That was really stupid. I almost killed myself. And then I wouldn't get to see the rest of this excellent game. Which, yes, despite its flaws, I do think that this is an excellent game. Is it the deepest game? No. Does it clearly borrow slash steal things from another game? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. Yes, I do. Did I just get hit with a laser? Also, yes. Looks like colors. Okay. Hey, how you doing, Scarecrow? I thought you might be able to appreciate this. See, I'm getting Sonic Adventure 2 vibes, but you'll see it more on the title screen. 
Although this reminds me of Sonic CD Stardust Speedway. Crow would love this. Well, it's not that hard to find this game, to be honest. Oh, I want to. I'm probably going to play three after this. Well, not tonight, but at some point. It's three is out, right? Right now I'm playing two, but I think three came out like last year. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be checking out three. I don't. I mean, I assume it's better than two, but what do I know? I don't even care. Like, I'll just take more of this, please. I don't know why Sega wouldn't borrow inspiration from this. I actually don't know which way I'm supposed to go right now. I got it all turned around. Because all the tiled floors look the same. I think they just added more. Excellent. More is always good when it's this good. But how's it going, Crow? In case you didn't see the uh, kind of buried the lead here, but I have a new Xbox Series S, which is what I'm playing this on. Did I just do all this? I don't even care. I'll do it again. Ah, pretty good, all con all things considered here. I don't know why I said that, because it actually is a pretty good day here. I still think I'm going the wrong way. I've done that, like, twice, where I just do an entire part of the level, like, three times. Hold on, i got to get Amy's hammer here real quick. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oops. Whoopsie. Woo! Saw so Crow scream now. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little marathon. I always feel like Crow and I could team up on something, like, retro-related, since we're both into that kind of, like, late 90s, sort of, like, early 3D platformers type of deal. I don't know how we would do that. Like, I don't know how, like, I know there's, like, a way to do guest streams and stuff. I could barely get my own streams to work. I can only imagine our combined powers... We'll just crash the internet. But now this game's awesome. I feel like I could do these levels like eight times and not see every, uh... It'd be the fake headshot. Oh, that's right. There is a shadow-like character in this game. I haven't really seen a lot of them. I've also been skipping the cutscenes because, quite frankly, they bore the hell out of me. I'm glad they don't make me watch them. So do I know the story of the game? You better believe I don't. Not a lick. Okay, where am I going again? I'm lost. You used to be a shadow? You still are. You're, you're a shads. Whoa. Oh, is that what it was? Somebody lopped off the last two letters or whatever? Now it's just shads? hey oh, You really are still one. Is your name a reference to Shadow? Probably not, but you never know. Shade, man. But yeah, there's your Sonic Adventure 2 title screen. I mean, totally innocuous. Could be any game title screen. That's kind of funny. That's actually how one of my original nicknames, Sonic Fan 287, was born. Boss, EJ. Okay, well, I know this isn't the final boss, because EJ is like this one that just keeps trolling me, whereas the final boss, I think, is Freedom or something. There's Shadow. There you are, you fake hedgehog. That could be any blue hedgehog. Color me impressed. Hey, hey, what's up with all the anger? Well, that sure was a lot of anger. Can't you take a joke? Where's the doctor? Robotnik isn't here right now, so you have to fight me. Maybe inside of your butt? Okay, I'm actually kind of glad I read some of the dialogue for that part. I've been kind of ignoring the dialogue for the most part. Oh, I love Freedom Planet. I was actually just thinking, I mentioned that game earlier. I'm like, Freedom Planet's like the 2D Sonic, and this is like the 3D Sonic. We just do a whole, like, retro stream on rip-off Sonic games. <laughs> Although Sonic Omens, which actually is a Sonic fan project, is really good as well. Okay, this is a tough fight. What am I supposed to be doing here? This is not on Game Pass, believe it or not. 
Uh, maybe three is, but this, this classic game... You gotta pay full price for this sucker. Yeah, Spark 1 is in 2D. I have not played it, but I've seen it. I wasn't really interested, even though I, I like 2D games, obviously. I'm, I'm almost convinced that's gotta be Crush 40, or at the very least, like, Crush 49. Like, doing the singing on this song. I'm dead of me funny. You'll never stop me now. More than you could ever know. This is like Sonic the Fighters, how they'd fight on these, like, little polygon 3D arenas. As everybody knows when they think of Sonic, they think of Sonic the freaking Fighters. That arcade game that almost nobody played. And I'll stop you now, and I'll stop you then. Overheating? Oh no, I overheated myself. I got too excited. Shads, you got me too excited with your comments. Just gonna, I don't know why I said that. But I did. I don't know why my mind went to this game. Well, this was one of the games. I was just like, I have access to like hundreds of games or whatever. I want to play freaking Spark the Electric Jester 2. I see Wiener. Ah, crud. Heyo. Ooh, these people. Alright, whatever. Oh, and I get to fight this guy. Okay, and then I guess I guess I should have watched the story to understand why I'm fighting him. <laughs> it's okay, we'll fight him. Oh, he just took like Cloud's sword and cut it in half and now has two of them. I watched like the first two cutscenes of this and I was like, I'm not really engaged in the story of this at all. But I like running around and fighting stuff, so Gamma. Oh, what, is, is he based on, are these all, like, E-Series robots? Oh, am I the E-Series robot? They kind of made it seem like I was, like, revolting against my robot master, which would be sort of a reference to that. Although, this guy is fairly uninteresting, despite his ninja design. It's really not doing much for me. I like the music, though. I've liked the music throughout this whole game, which is also indicative of most Sonic games. I 100% think this game is better than Sonic Forces. Like, I'm not even kidding. For one thing, it, well, I haven't beaten it yet, but it probably doesn't... probably takes around the same amount of time to beat, actually. I mean, I don't really expect a five-hour game out of this. I really don't. So, whatever, however long it takes, it's how long it takes. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, I just took, like, a ton of damage. What the heck was that? Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, well, at least one of the bosses is actually a challenge. He really gets tough when he starts making the entire, like, priority one hedgehog. Give me the bird! Okay, flips him off. That's not what I meant. I feel like that's got to be a video somewhere. Like, that that line, like, give me the bird, and then he, like, flips him off. That's oh, not what I meant. And, like, in that really dull, robotic voice. Okay, I really don't like how the when he's glowing red, his attacks do, like, eight times damage or whatever. Like, that's kind of not cool. Got to stop. I'm guessing after this I got to fight the other one, because there was another robot with him. I think his name was Flint or something. I feel like he's dead, but I'm just going to keep hacking and slashing him in case he's not dead. Hello? Are you dead? Be dead. He's still not- he's still not dying. Be dead now. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. It says stage complete, but that doesn't mean anything. There could be another one. Oh, these people. This is what I get for not watching the story. All right, there's still more game. I'm more than happy with that. Terminal Dragon? Okay. Sounds like it could be the name of an anime. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I like how you can actually go into each of the cars. This reminds me of uh, Bullet Train from uh, Sonic Heroes. So far, I've found a, com a comparison for almost every stage. But kind of like... 
Sonic games, like, part of the fun is just seeing what the next thing is, you know? Like, I never quite know what it's gonna be. Even now, I don't know what could happen in this level. Ouch, why would they put that right there? There's like a speed booster right by a laser. Whoa, okay. It has parts of all the 4D games. What are the 4D games? Like, you, what, you mean like the Dreamcast era? I would love... Ah. Well, you can't. You can't scream it, because I'm playing it. I mean, you can, but you'll just be the second one to scream it. I wrote 3D. Oh. Why did I read 4D? It's on Steam? I think... Yeah, I think that's actually how it started. I think it started on PC. It's also on Xbox, but it, it's on PC. On Steam or Epic Games. I forget what platform. It's just because I'm so... I feel like people who aren't used to playing Sonic games wouldn't like this game. Because there's just certain things about it that I'm just used to from Sonic games. Like, the gravity will just change out of nowhere. And I'm like, I'm okay with this. Like, th this, this doesn't even phase me. Like, oh, I'm going sideways now? And the game gave me no warning whatsoever? Okay. That was a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It's corrected. Alright, fine. Like, I was supposed to read your mind and know what you said in the past. I don't even know what people are saying currently. I'm, I'm constantly confused. Just ask anyone who works with me. And they'll tell you. Bobby, yeah, he never knows what the hell he's doing. And yet, I still have a job. I think it's my jokes. Give me Oh, I'm about to die. Yep. Hey, I'm all about, like... In all seriousness, like, I, I like to play more obscure games, because I'm like, everybody's gonna know, you know, if I got Halo Wars Infinite, or whatever it's called, or some other, not that there's anything wrong with that, you know, Forza, all that stuff. Everyone knows those games, Fortnite, whatever, but like, you know, who's gonna represent the Spark the Electric Jester out there? There's probably a bunch of other games I don't know about, but like, you know, who's gonna give credit to the little guy? You should TJ Why? Why? Why should I DJ on What would possibly come out of that besides a copyright penalty? It would lag like crazy, especially on a channel that's known for having bad audio. Yeah, I'm gonna showcase my DJing. I appreciate the thought, though. It's like, oh, is he doing a glitch mix? No, this is just his audio. Holy crap, there's a lot of lasers here. I messed that up. Yep. I went too far. Sometimes you have to let the game kind of hold your hand a little bit. As tempting as it is to, you know, try to jump ahead, it's like, eh, that's one where you kind of just let the game do what it does and you just hit the right button. Other times the game will want you to do something a lot more demanding, but sometimes the game's like, just, just watch. Just watch and learn. Kind of like life, you know? There are moments where you have to seize it for yourself, and there's other moments where you can just be part of it. See, like here, you just pick which one of these things you want to go through. That's really all there is to it. I definitely overthought that. Oh, oh, I did not think about that hard enough, as you can see. So I really could go either way. Oh, I'm getting, I'm honestly just kind of lucky all those lasers missed me. I don't know how that happened. Whoa, watch out. Come on, dash up it. There we go. What is that? I'm gonna say that's a boss. Is that the terminal dragon? I'm gonna guess so. Whoa! Okay, kind of clunky in the combat, not gonna lie. But I, I see. I wasn't actually expecting that much combat in this game. I was expecting to just run and jump, which mostly is what you do. Watch out! Ah, oh, damn it! That's a long comment. I'm gonna have to read that. Ouch! Eventually, it's really hard to hit this guy. Really hard, hard to hit the damn thing, isn't it? 
I'm getting freaking three and four hit comboed here. Thanks, Shads. I'm gonna have to read why we're saying thanks to Shads. Hold on. You know, I kind of noticed one thing. I've been doing a bit lately. Trying to order a thing for Twitch. Even if I don't feel like being on Twitch, seeing you on or Chrome. Well, thank you. And actually, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I saw the word wheelchair and I'm like, where's he going with this? And uh, I'm glad it had a happy ending. So, um, here, here's to you and everybody watching out there. Enjoy this pause screen. I feel like I never use this down attack. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Ugh, damn. Guys are great. Well, we try. That's what stream is all about. It's all about making people happy. And as long as we're on the topic of making people happy. You know what would make us all really happy is watching Retromania 56 on Sunday at 1 o'clock. What do you say? I can't think of a happier thing to do. Uh, it, it can be a dangerous word for a lot of people. God damn it. Damn it. Boss's timing is actually pretty good, like... Very good at figuring out which of my two attacks I'm going to use. And... I was say, the lasers, all you have to do is just avoid them. But these little, like, slashy things... Yeah, not so great. Okay, this game came out before Frontiers. The second one I don't know about, but the first one, or this one, definitely came out before Frontiers, but it uses a very similar parry system, which is kind of funny. They actually, like, made Sega's next game for them. Like, they knew what the system was going to be before it even came out. Okay, whoa, 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 I'm getting a little turned around here. Watch out! Okay, here we go. God damn! Ah, see, the third one I didn't see coming. I knew he was going to do something, but... Like, he does, like, the punch, then he, he hits the ground or whatever... But, like, that beak thing I did not see coming, even though I probably should have. He's got a beak. He's going to use it. He takes, like, an hour to target that thing. It... My attacks do noticeably less damage to him. My life is an anime. That's one way to look at it, I guess. It's a positive outlook. Of sorts. Watch out! Giant lasers of doom. God dang. Is there one attack that doesn't do, like, a third of my health? Everything, I hit him, like, 40 times. I'm still waiting for it to show any damage. I just realized I could just stay all the way back here and not get hit by any of this. Why don't I just do that? How did I get... Oh, I dashed into it, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Okay, from now on, we're just going to hit him a few times. When he does that, we're just going to go run over here. He's going to do that. Yeah, I ain't sticking around for that. What, what am I, an idiot? Apparently, I'm an idiot. I don't know. None of you said that, but I feel like I'm... Oh, shit. What the fuck? I really did. It's an Xbox One. Nobody tell him. Was this game remind anybody of anything? Oh, shit. No, the one time he does that attack. That attack I hate, by the way. Toy Story 2. What is wrong with you people? How do you not see how similar this is to... Never mind. Thank you! Holy crap, somebody got it! It, it was actually the person who usually makes jokes. with a joke! <laughs> Which is actually kind of funny, because Toaster would be the one making this joke, usually. God damn, I'm still, like, getting my butt kicked here, by the way. This boss is pissing me off. How did that 
even hit me. I wasn't even... I was between those lasers. I wasn't in them. Basically, at this point, I'm just hitting the button as many times as I possibly can. God damn it! I just lost again. Son of a monkey. Alright, I'm just gonna button mash the crap out of this thing and just hopefully I hit the L button in time. Because I've tried every possible strategic strategy. I'm actually doing better just standing here and mashing the button. I was just being sarcastic, but that is actually doing better than everything else I've been doing to this point. I just beat him. I just beat him by standing there and pushing the button. Also, don't tell me that's not the Sonic Adventure 2 title screen. You can't tell me that's not the Sonic Adventure 2 title screen. Hmm. Yeah, I, I actually really like this game. I just told you not to tell me that. Alright, thank you. Alright, Scary Astropolis. Let's go. I do enjoy this game, actually. I keep making fun of it, but this is actually a really awesome game. Which, I mean, stands to reason if I like Sonic, I would like this game. Well, sleeping there, you really are awake. And you're here just in time to see some of uh, this Spark the Electric Jester 2. Yes, it is on my brand new... Well, uh, technically it was pre-owned, but I see your point. But I do have Game Pass, so there'll be plenty more games to stream eventually. I still think this is better than, like, I'd go as high as 60% of Sega's 3D games. Like, it's just a lot of fun to find the different routes. Same as your PSA. I think it is, actually. Well, that's a confusing question, because I apparently have two Xbox Lives now, because instead of merging them from Xbox 360, I somehow got a new one. I don't know how that happened. I'm actually friends with my Xbox 360 one. Apparently he's offline right now. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I actually just, like, shortcut a whole bunch of the level? I think I did. I did! <laughs> so those are going to stay on there, which is fine, because I have my Xbox 360 still hooked up. That's fine. I, I actually, I don't really intend to use this except for, like, Game Pass stuff, which will still be a decent amount of things. I don't know how I ended up over here. You know. No, I don't know much, to be honest. Okay, maybe that wasn't a shortcut, because it seems like I still have to go through this part of the level again. Ouch. A lot of 360 games in live do work. I'm sure they do. 360, the Xbox, and have access to it's a whole long story that even I don't understand. Because they were associated with the same email address, so I just figured it would be like, Oh, we found an account for you. Instead, it was like, Oh, give yourself a username. And I'm like, well, I already have a username. Like, oh, whatever. That's not how it really went, because I didn't really talk to the computer like that. But You know me and technology. I'll find some way to mess it up. It's like, but doesn't it automatically import? Yeah, that's what they would have you think. Oh, shoot. Can I get that jump? Oh, I thought I could jump over there. Apparently, yeah, when I first started my Xbox 
like the Xbox Series S because I had a promo code for two months of free Game Pass, which is the only reason why I don't just restart it because then I'll probably lose my two months. Watch out, watch out, watch out. All right. But yeah, it imported my contacts, and one of them is my other uh, Xbox account. Yeah, whatever. So I have to plug in... Well, I don't even have to plug in it. It's already plugged in. I have to turn on my Xbox to play uh, freaking Sonic 4 Episode 2. Woo! That was deviously fast. Oh, God, the train is going by while you fight these guys? That's a little much. Goal! Sonic Adventure 2, title screen. Make a second profile and log in with your 360 account. I guess I could do that. What are you thinking of ideas? All right, this might be the final level. I keep saying that, but it never is. Oh, the damn fourth chaos emerald. We know Toaster's here now. That's Where's the that damn fourth the chaos emerald? All right, Titanic Tower even sounds like a Sonic level. Let's see if it is right after this. Oh, this is actually not what I thought it would be at all. This is more like the first level, but a little bit harder. Or at least a little bit bigger looking. That's a pretty big tower, though. I don't know if i call it Titanic. I'd say it's a decent sized little tower. Actually, this level feels very much not final. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what the heck? I'm losing momentum. That's uh, I'm not used to that because Sonic games generally don't have gravity in them. Like Sonic will just blast up everything in the new Sonic games. Watch out. Pretty sure this guy was an enemy in Sonic 4 Episode 2, by the way. Whoa. Oh, that's bad. That's just me being stupid. Wee! Yahoo! I went too far. Wait. Oh, I'm still alive. Is this Sega? No. That's the funny thing about it, is that this is, uh, I don't know the name of the group, but it's an indie game. And like I said, it controls and plays better than most of the 3D Sonic games. It basically feels like Sonic Adventure, but a little faster. And so far, every level has had great music. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, stay alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to stand on this. I'm standing on it now. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to stand on these. See, I like stuff like that, though. Like, games used to have little exploits like this. Like, new games are programmed so tightly now, you usually can't do this. I don't know what benefit this gives me, but I can do it. Well, this part has enemies on it, so I'm, obviously it's okay to be here. Well, okay, that was dumb. Can I recover? Yes, I can. Am I going the right way? Probably not. It can get a little tricky on some of those parts. There we go. And yes, he does have a homing attack. Just in case there was any doubt. So this stage is all about basically trying to keep your momentum up, apparently. Watch out. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm not even gonna try to save it this time. I'm just gonna let him fall. That is a big-ass tower, though. Holy crap, look at that. I'm gonna be falling a long way. I was like, you, you can fall to your death at this point. Oh, okay, just respawn me here in front of all these enemies. Oh, 
Oh, trampolines. Say, so at this point, I haven't seen a lot of original gimmicks outside of the Sonic ones, but the trampolines are kind of cool. Oh, jeez. Uh, I was not supposed to end up here. No wonder this level's so long. Like, that thing was huge when I saw it. Holy shite. Oh, jeez, I don't even know which way to go here. Not down, not down. Whatever way you go, don't go down. Okay, go up. Up is good. This is just going to be a giant, like, tower climb type of deal. Wait, you really just redeemed it again? I had to, like, double check to make sure that I didn't just, like... Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? There for four minutes waiting to redeem it? Oh, this part's tough. Holy shit. This has more platforming in it than a Sonic game as well. Oh, jeez. Okay. You really were just sitting there. Early goal? There, wait, 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 wait. There's an early goal? Oh, I would have done the longer one. I didn't know there was an early goal. I'm probably going to... I'm not going to get the good ending now, because I probably did, like, the bad ending or something. There's probably, like, a hidden goal. Yeah, it's like, oh, you got the shitty final boss. Yeah, see, if I went the other way, it probably would have gone to a higher thing. I also, I'm not even going to bother with the story. The story kind of sucks, but, yeah. There's also no music in any of these cutscenes. Just little noises. I thought he just killed me. Like, I thought he just took the sword and just shoved it right through me. Okay, whatever. Let's fight this boss. Oh, yeah, time for the Crush 40 knockoff. I know, you're like, how could it be Crush 40? There's no vocals. Well, wait. Ah, actually, maybe this song doesn't have lyrics. Can barely hear fans audio lop. What? Did you say that word again with more words in it? Oh, there we go. Now now I hear the Crush 40 guy. Oh, alright. That's fair. Let's see, that should turn it up a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe my audio is just up too loud. Hey, I'll keep playing. Oh, here we go. Planetary Stripe. Alright, I'll do a little Planetary Stripe. Whoa! Oh, this level's awesome. For some reason, I thought this was in Spark 3, because I've seen previews of Spark 3, and I thought this level... Or, oh my god, that's totally the Death Egg freaking robot teleporter. Even it sounds like the Death Egg music. It sounds like the, it's got like the crazy gadget freaking like guitar. Now that I realize nobody can hear the game audio, maybe no one even notices that. Whoa, okay, that was close.
Oh my god, you're, this is going to be a running gag now. You're just going to redeem the freaking Chaos Emerald thing every second. I really cannot take my eyes off the game for long here. It's one of those games where... Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Very hard to play this and look at something else at the same time, because that, that'll be the second I fly off the track. So far, there's like no enemies in this level. It's just going forward on this track. I don't know how to feel about that. But the music is so kicking, I almost can't get mad at it. I mean, this guitar is, like, freaking insane. Whoa, okay, I did not expect that. Alright, so this changes it up a little bit. Whoa, 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 what the fuck is going on here? Am I supposed to go down? Like, I honestly don't know. Hopefully, because I can't go anywhere else. Yeah, I, I had no idea where to go there. Okay, so I missed that entirely. Dude, it, it, well, see, I, I, again, you made my point because I read your comment for like two seconds and I lost it. No, this is this is awesome value, Sonic. Like, I got such a great value on this. Honestly, though, it, it's one of those things. It, to watch it, you probably don't think it looks that great, but like, if you're playing it, it's a lot more fun. Like, it, it really does play very well. These later levels, I will admit, have been a little bit repetitive with some of the stuff, but like, earlier in the game, there was a lot of like very diverse level design going on. Right now, it's just all running, apparently. One thing that's consistent, though, is the music has been pretty awesome the whole time. Still better than the Frontier's final boss. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, I see it now. I'm dead. See, the first time I went that way, I missed the offshoot for the goal or whatever. I like how there's, like, little secrets off to the side here, like, some of these things are not easy to get to. I already see the Chaos Emerald thing, I'll get to it in a second. Got it. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Yeah. Oh shit, there's even more. Hyper Wrath Fleet. I do enjoy when there's even more. And I say holy shit about it. Whoa, here we go. 
I keep thinking it's the last level, and then it's not. Oh, this is freaking Egg Fleet from Sonic Heroes, basically. Whoa, okay. So doesn't mean I know what's going to happen. It almost sounds like Sonic Forces music, but I won't hold that against it. Although, this is probably the weakest track in the game in terms of music. I want to see what it looks like. All right, fine. I will say, like, th these later levels are decent, but it does kind of feel like... Uh, which one was really good? Floria Highway was really good. I mean, the whole game's been really good. And I don't... That last level might be really good, too. I just haven't gotten there yet. Oh, that was a spike. All right, Florida Highway. <laughs> it really is Florida Highway. There's also, like, alternate routes to go, so, I mean, I could play this level a lot and still not see the same stuff. There's one level that even, like, switches to 2D for a bit, almost like Sonic Generations. In fact, I've seen references to almost every Sonic game in this game. Oh, Florida Highway. That sounds like it'd be a song. Welcome to the Florida Highway. Of course, it'd be a country song for some reason. Yeah, I do hope everybody's enjoying the stream and enjoying their day. It's been a really, like, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect from today. It's like my first day off in a while and my last day off for a while. So I was like, I want to do something fun today. And something fun is what I've been doing so far. It really is. There is a Spark 1, which is apparently, it's like a 2D version. It's a 2D game. I never played it. don't really have an interest to There's also a Spark 3, which I'm very much interested in now that I played this. I just love how the menu screen looks exactly like Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. They just put their own characters in it. Yeah, I mean, the story is pretty forgettable, if there even is one, which there is. I just don't know what it is. Actually, it has some Mega Man type of references, too. Oh, oh fuck. Sometimes he will miss those. Combat's pretty basic, but in fact, I can even do the combat while hitting this stupid Chaos Emerald thing for the millionth time. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? I don't know how much longer I'm going to play this, as much as I enjoy it. I do enjoy Every time I kill that one enemy, the frame rate tanks every goddamn time, and I'm on an Xbox, but whatever. I was surprised how small the Xbox One S is, or the Xbox Series S is. Like, it fits in with my giant, stupid console setup somehow. It does. But yeah, look at that freaking screen. Tell me that's not an SA2 reference. Uh, 
Where the hell was I? <laughs> Whoa. Really? Okay, I could have just done that. Why did you super small compared to the fat beast PS8? That too, and even the Xbox One X. Uh, because I honestly didn't know they were that cheap. Like, not that anything wasn't cheap, but it wasn't, like, super expensive either. And I don't know, I just kind of like the Game Pass thing. And plus there's some games on it that aren't on PS5, so whatever. Like, this game is not on PS5. Uh, cheap enough. I mean, for a next-gen console cheap, it wasn't like 500 bucks or anything crazy. Sonic Forces music. Uh, apparently we're all gonna ask. Well, it was pre-owned, so it's not the full whatever it is. It was 250 Which is, like, I think how much a new Switch is. Ah, uh, time to die. I mean, like I said, this isn't going to be something I do use, like, every day or anything, but it's still, like, a nice addition to the family. Like I said, it's the part of the Chaos Blur console family. Oh, this is such a reference to Egg Fleet. I think full price is, like, 300 or 350 I don't even know. But I mainly got this for the Game Pass, because the Game Pass, which is, like, 15 a month, but I also got two months free because I have Nitro on Discord. Um, but even without that, it's still a great deal, like, compared to, like, the PlayStation games you get, which I, I might end up, like, either canceling or switching my PlayStation Plus from the, I have, like, the highest tier, and I really just don't see the value in it compared to some of the games you can get on Game Pass that are, like, both new and old games. Oh, shit, alright. This part's actually kind of tough. Graphics on that one part were actually a lot better than the graphics for most of the game. Well, this reminds me of Sky Deck now from SA1. Except actually a little bit harder, which is saying something, because that was always one of my least favorite stages growing up. I like it now, but... As a kid, you didn't want anything to be difficult in terms of games. You just wanted to blast through it. Ouch. You have, like, kind of a charge spin dash thing you can do, although I don't have room to do it in here with all these enemies shooting at me. Okay, I did, this part actually is difficult. I was being sarcastic before, but it really actually kind of is. God dang it. I'm too difficult if you ask me. Alright, stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Let me breathe. Oh, crap, that actually worked. I do enjoy paying full price for things. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh, jeez, dang it. Oh, I thought that killed me. Probably should have. Oh, I didn't realize the little yellow things actually regain your health. I haven't even been... Oh, that probably killed me. No, it didn't. All right. We are still alive. Whoa, maybe not. We are still alive. Maybe not. Now that I know that those help your health... Oh, God dang it. I don't have much health left. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is difficult. I don't like this. I mean, I like it, but it's... Oh, I didn't realize that hurt you just to touch it. Those look like Lego flames, don't they? Like, those don't look like real flames. They look like plastic freaking 2D flames. Alright, well, since I'm at a standstill anyway, may as well just have this on. Where's that standby. damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Oh, what the heck? Even oh, I died. I was going to say, eventually... Well, this part is really challenging. I love the fake Lego flames, though. They look like Lego flames. Like, they're just like frozen pictures of fire. What if I walk around them? Can I walk around them? Wow, that's incredible. The blades are pretty cool looking, though. Damn it. I'm sorry, I'm just like enthralled with the flames for some reason.
Oh, why would I go this way? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Okay, I will say, kudos to the game for actually being a challenge. Because for, like, the first, like, six or so levels, I was just burning through this. And I've been getting my butt kicked right now. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, Zizian... Zizia... Yeah. Zizian the Lego Floyman House. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the word for Legos is. Probably just Legos. Foya. Foya would be more like flames. Oh, fuck, 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 fudge. I think they look like Lego flames. You know when you used to like build the play sets as a kid and it'd be like, oh, here's fire, and it'd just be like this little zigzag orange one. See, I can't even see what comment he just wrote. Why do you guys say Legos? Why, why do we say them? Because that's what multiple Legos are? I don't know how to answer that question. Why do you guys say things you say? Okay, I don't know how to get out of here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -ba. I mean, I know how to get out of here to die, but like, how do I actually beat this level? Yeah, see, I could have figured that part out. We say Lego. Even for multiple Lego? Z? Ouch. Alright, that didn't seem very nice, but okay, we'll go with that. Damn it. Now I just. I don't know why. I just got in the mood because we were talking about Legos. I want to watch the, the Lego Batman movie, which I actually have, so I could watch it. I don't know, I really like that movie, and I just I haven't watched it in a long time. I really don't know where to go here. Like, does one of these tubes, like, take me to... That looks like death. Oh, that's right, you can actually, like, yeah. I remember, if you hit the shield at the right time, you can go through that, taking minimal damage. What the heck is going on in this level? Holy cripe! I think the little background vocals that go "wee" are like kind of like off-putting to the dramatic tone of the game. Otherwise, oh, that's a long comment. Like, I always, like, have my peripheral on the chat, obviously. That's why I'm streaming. But, like, you know, most of the comments I can glance down and read in a second. Like, it'll be lol or it'll be a gif or something. And I can just look at that real quick. But, like, then I'll see, like, a paragraph. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for, like, a pause in the action to read that one. Like, that one's going to be a... That's going to be, like, story time. Like, I can't read that one and play the game. It's like a paragraph of text. Like, I, I can tell how long it is, but I just can't read all the words in it. I don't want to make sure I read it right. I don't want to just half-ass it when I do read it. Because I will read it. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize you needed enough speed to get up there. All right, well, we might be reading it pretty soon because I'm going to die here. Uh, I'll just read it. Multiple Lego in Slovak, you say Lega. But I always thought when one is talking about Lego, they, are, they talk about the brand, not the blocks. Well... In that case, I was saying they look like Lego flames, meaning flames made by Lego, so I guess yes. But if there's a bunch of blocks on the floor, what would you call them? Legos. There's a bunch of Legos on the floor. You wouldn't say there's a bunch of, like... Like, if I dropped, like... I don't know, I guess that doesn't work either. I don't know, I'm trying to think of, like, another brand name where, like, if I dropped a bunch of them... Well, if I dropped an Xbox on the floor, it would be an Xbox. If I dropped multiple Xboxes on the floor, they'd be Xboxes. I wouldn't say there's multiple Xbox on the floor, even though that's the brand. All right, here, here's your stupid Chaos Emerald thing. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? I guess I see your point, though. x by Oh, sure, so you can make some weird plural for Xbox, but saying Lego or Lego isn't confusing. God damn it. This level is not enjoyable. I mean, parts of it are. I don't mind a challenge, but this just seems a little, like, arbitrary now. Jeez. Those Lego flames really pack a punch. It's just... It's, 
You think that's confusing? Try learning German. I actually don't. Nah, I'm just kidding. I've actually... I've enjoyed learning German. I'm the kind of person that I don't really stick with... I mean, I, I say I'm going to stick with something, but I generally am not going to stick with something for long, like, unless I at least somewhat enjoy it, so... I, uh, do enjoy genuinely... God damn it. I enjoy learning German. Do you now? Weiss du Deutsch. God damn it! Ah. Oh. Ich bin tot. Oh, damn, this sent me pretty far back, too. I might just call it a stream after this level, unless, like, the next level is the final boss, but I'll have no way of knowing that. That's a winner if I ever beat this German. I know German, do you know me even? Was? Ich weiß, ich weiß dich. I just got here, though. Okay, first of all, you did not just get here, because you've had time to fire off the freaking Chaos Emerald reward ten times. And secondly, actually, there have been streams where you have just gotten here and I've left. So, I mean, how long can I really play this game as much as I enjoy it? Du solltest... Hold on. Du solltest es wissen, dass ich Deutsch weiß. Ah, that was tricky. I know you know some German. You say you know German like you're, like, fluent in it, which you might be. Ich weiß nicht, but, you know. Some people say I know German, they might know a few sentences. I know you know more than that. See, there should be a checkpoint, like, here. Maybe there is, and I just missed it. I don't know. God damn it. God damn it again. I feel like there should definitely be a checkpoint before this part. I am rusty, but... Ah, see, that must be nice, though, even just to understand it fluently. Like, I, I still... Like, there are words that I can say in German, or even, like, write, but, like, if I hear them spoken, I don't always pick up on it, just because the speaking is a whole different animal. So, like, I'll watch, like, a clip in German, and I'll understand maybe, like, half of it, if that. But then if you, like, read me the transcript of it, or, well, if I read it myself, like, to myself, I'd be like, oh, okay, I know a good amount of those words. I mean, assuming they're talking about just a simple topic and not, like, anything too complicated. So I would not say I understand it fluently. What? Oh, got it. Oh, this is that part. I, that, this all looks the same after a while. I'm like, there was one part, and I think it's this part right here, where if you don't go fast enough, you fall off. There we go. I'm like so nervous about making a mistake now. Which I just did. Oh, come on! Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm still alive. Still good, still good. I don't know where I am, but... What the heck is that? Okay, giant laser. Okay. Well... I guess that's because you've been exposed more to the speaking of it. Like, you probably know people who speak it. All right, now I finally understand what this part's about. It's about not getting hit by that giant laser. Which I totally just got hit by. It. Uh, why is there a timer going? What happens if that gets to zero? I don't want to know. Okay, the numbers can count up now. We don't need to keep going down. Oh, God, somebody got crazy with the Legos that day. The goal's right there. Ha, take that, numbers. All right, well... Yeah, 13 minutes seems like a reasonable time for that level. Where's that damn right, fourth the chaos emerald? Because then it might be the final boss. I'm probably going to stop the stream here. Because I do not have another level in me. Hey, look, it's Rouge the Bat. It really is Rouge the Bat. She's like, I'm going to find some emeralds now. 
The reason you can't hear any game audio here is because there really isn't any. There's Shadow. He's all like, oh, my arm hurts. You! You're that fake hedgehog. Oh, I mean, you ruined everything. All right, whatever. Uh, I guess this might be the final boss. So I will attempt this. Or it might not be the final boss. We're going to eat more bosses after this. Whoever knows. Oh, I got to fight both of them? All right. All the bosses are pretty much the same. It's just stay in, like, in the center of this arena and then, like, counter their attack or something. I say that now. This one will probably do something different. Oh, it's like a silver surfer over here. Oh, there's the Crush 40 music. Or you could say Power Rangers music. Wait, the little floaty ghost thing was a, is a boss, too? I thought that guy was a good guy. That's how much I'm paying attention to the story. All right, so basically that thing's just distracting me. It's almost like a Luma with, like, Rosalina. I'm also pretty sure this is the same theme as the last boss, just with words. What the? Oh, they just fully healed themselves. That's BS. Either that, it's like phase two of the fight. Yeah, because they didn't have the wings before. Or they're supposed to be, like, knives. Whoa! Okay, that was different, I will admit. That sounds like something from Shadow the Hedgehog. You got me! Yeah, you got me! I just realized that my screams have, like, a lag between the audio and video and whatever, so, like... If I sing a song like that, you guys probably hear the song, like, after I sing it, so you're probably like, what's he talking about? That's got to be confusing. Woo, that's bad. Okay. I don't see me beating this, by the way. I got, I'm getting close, though. Watch out. I'm pretty sure we both just beat each other. Hey, what's going on, Randy? All right, that's a two-minute fight. Yeah, we added a new console to the collection today, the uh, Xbox Series S. Right, I'll see if that's the last boss. Either way, I'm probably wrapping things up here. I played this whole game. I don't even know what the story is. Oops. Was that significant? Was that not significant? It's a pretty good game. I mean, well, the console's great. I already knew it would be. Freaking Game Pass. Astra. No. You're... you're not. Yeah, I'm not a person. Uh, I guess that's the big reveal there. I'm an agent of clarity. And like you, I'm just another robot. But why? Why didn't you tell me? You mean you couldn't tell? If I'm a robot, like, who's gonna... Uh, whatever. I couldn't. No one was supposed to know. Ha ha. I guess it's too late now. Time to die. I added that part. Astra. Astra. No, not like this, Astra. Oh, hold on. I'm going to do the stupid Chaos Emerald thing again and ruin this dramatic moment. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Astra. Astra. She's dead. I mean, you, you just fought freaking whatever. You knew she was going to die. No. The worst CPR I've ever seen. Ooh, piece of candy. Hey, somebody finally redeemed that thing. I was wondering if these Kit Kats were going to be used or not. Oh my god, that's got to be the last stage. But then again, I've said that for the last few. Alright, we'll do one more level. Because this is called Apocalypse Thruster. And that was a great name for a level. I'm not doing that. But, I don't care if this is the last level or not. We're not doing another level after this. I don't care if it's called Cataclysmic Cannon or something. Like, this has got to be the end of the game. I'm, like, on the side of the loop. There's no way. I mean, KFC is rather delicious. I actually miss KFC because I haven't had them since I left Staples, really. I think I had them, like, one time since I left Staples. 
Holy cripe. God, I actually hope this is like a short level. The last level was like 15 minutes. Holy cripe. This is still a better finale than Sonic Frontiers if this is the finale. Legos. I want my KFC. Whoa! It is very easy to slip off some of these things, I will say that. It's almost like the game gives you too much control at times. You almost wish it was, like, automated, like Sonic Heroes and some of the other games, where they're like, oh, you know, you're just watching Sonic run through loops. Well, if you don't, this is what happens, like, because it's almost impossible to maintain that kind of control when you're going that fast. So, I mean, I appreciate that the game basically lets you do your own thing, but, like, stuff like this happens a lot, where you just slip off, because you can't follow the pattern of these scripts perfectly. Now, you can take little shortcuts like this, which is kind of cool. And there are some automated moments, but... Like, when you hit a speed booster in this game, you probably get, like, 10 or 20 feet of, like, you know, the game kind of taking it for you. But then after that, you basically have to just know which way to go, which... This is my first time playing this, I don't know which way to go. And especially with these corkscrews, it's really tough. And like I said, I'm just used to playing Sonic games. A lot of people are going to die a million times in this game. I already see that coming. Like, I can see why people wouldn't like this game. Because they'd be like, what? Some bullshit came out of nowhere. It's like, I just know what to expect. That's just how I roll. Oh, this is pretty cool. This almost reminds me of uh, F-Zero GX. Yeah, well, I want the McRib to be available year-round. Sometimes we don't always get what we want. I don't know why I just made that Deadpool 2 reference there. By the way, I wouldn't keep playing if this game wasn't so much dang fun, so that should tell you something about how much I enjoy this game. Fuck. I ordered Jersey. Oh, you ordered one? Where do you have one that's close enough to you to deliver? I know there are, there are some in that area. Oh, there is one in the Waterford Commons, but that's not really near you that much. Wait, did I just go the wrong way again? I really did just go the wrong way again. God damn it. Patrick, you're fired again. I was, I was wondering why that was so easy. I'm like, I'm just like going forward. Waterford, you really are. There was, like, a phase during COVID. Well, I mean, everybody was doing this. It's like, we would order food, like, almost every night from some restaurant. Like, one night it'd be KFC. One night it'd be, like, I don't, I don't think we ever got Jersey Mike's. But, like, it would just get delivered or whatever. It's like, oh, the food drop off is here. I'm not really sure. I've actually got Forza uh, for Ryzen 5 downloading in the background. Should be done any day now. Oh, okay. That was devastating. That attack. Holy crap. I will say, this game does not mess around, which I appreciate. Now I'm going to die again. But yeah, I just right now I just have Spark the Electric Jester 2, which is what we're playing right now. You mean they make other games for this? No, I'm just kidding. I, I know they do. God damn it. And someday, I might even have those games. Now, it is digital only, which is kind of just whatever, but... I was thinking about this earlier. I'm like, if, if I had one that had discs, like, where would I put those discs? Like, I've got so many discs already. Okay, apparently that thing just attacks the whole screen. Damn it. Fudge. Fudge, man. Wow. Oh, that's insane. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I don't know what is happening right now. Am I going up? Am I going down? What the heck? Okay, I'm going down, I guess. 
Holy shiz. Now, you know what? It might be a skill issue in this case. I might agree with you there. Favorite you ever met in one... Wait, what? Uh, who have I met that's like a celebrity? I really don't meet a lot. I met Jim Rice, the former Red Sox player. I don't know if that's the most famous person I met. I never met like any presidents or anything. And I really haven't met a celebrity I didn't like because I don't really meet a lot of celebrities. I'm like stuck here because I, I can't go high enough to get out of here, but I can't fall either. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we went. What even did that? Oh, there's a speed booster there. What the hell? Yeah, this part gets a little annoying. Oh, yeah, actually, what am I saying? I have met... The, now that you said that, you jogged my memory to the fact that I have met Jason David Frank. He's probably my favorite celebrity that I've met. Because I, if I met anybody, it was likely with you. And I met that. I met all the actress, actors and actresses from Yu-Gi-Oh, technically. Or most of them. And blur in, hey, what's up? You're just in time for me to almost finish this game. Which... Reminds me of a certain game that I'm not going to say. I'll let them figure it out on their own. Although, not so much this part. This part, not so much. God, what the heck even was that? I don't even know what just hit me. What, did I just get killed by the sky? Oh, I get it. Holy crap. The walls are literally just like death. The walls are made of laser, so you can't even go to the wall. Or the window. Or the wall. I do enjoy Stay Chaotic, or... Yeah, I really did already say that. You really do meet a lot of famous people. Okay, so don't touch the walls, basically, is what I'm getting out of this. Well, now I almost have to show Big Mac an earlier level, just to show him what game it reminds me of. I really... Oh my god, do you see that? I do not like this part at all. This whole game is about going as fast as you can, but this part here, you have to be so freaking careful. What the frick? I just got annihilated by that! Oh my god. Probably. For some reason, people have commented that it's pretty quiet. I don't know why. Like, I. Whoa, are you kidding me? I was right by the goal! Hold on. Let me see if I can turn it up more. Oh, well, to be fair. Let me listen. There really aren't a lot of sound effects. I never really thought about that, but you're right. Like, there's some earlier levels where, like, the enemies might make some sound effects when they try to hit you, but there's no enemies here. Oh, I'm so mad right now, because I was so close to the end of the level, and I, like, went one inch off and missed it. God damn it! Going so slow right now, even though that's not supposed to be the point. But when there's walls of pure energy, I'm on myself in a minute. I blur out for now. All right, well, I appreciate you joining. <laughs> the game it reminds me of is Sonic Adventure 2, in case you didn't catch on. But this part doesn't really, so... Oh, son of a bitch. 
There we go. That counts. Oh, there you go. There's your Sonic Adventure 2 reference. Oh, see, look. Someone else figured it out. Oh, this is probably the final boss. Complete with the Crush 40 vocals. Did I really? I don't think I can do that during a stream, so I don't think I did. Maybe there's like a maximum redemption of like 20 or something and you just hit it. I think I did put limits on all of them. But I didn't think anybody would be dumb enough to redeem it that many times. Okay, this guy's legit hard. Ooh, piece of candy. I know there's a redemption for that one. Like a limit for that one. Oh, yeah. For some reason, the idea of me eating candy with this epic music playing. You really kind of... I, I don't know. I'll tell you. Aw. Mm-mm. You know, I just try to be fancy and move around a lot. You can basically fight most of these bosses just standing here and then hit the counter button at the right time. I mean, it's not flawless. Just, you'll still get hit, but... Okay, well, there's that. That attack was a little much. Wait, how did he get so much health back? I had him down to, like, no health for a while there. Alright, well, whatever. But now that you've really pissed me off, I'm gonna kill him nice and slow. MJ and I are gonna have a hell of a time! Now, for some reason, that was, like, extra loud in my headphones. Like, that was louder than usual, that hell of a time. I had a hell of a time hearing it. Like, that was, like, triple the volume of the game. And I'm playing the game in my room, like, a foot away from me. Nah, this boss is actually kind of hard. It's not even, like, a fun challenge, either. It's just, like, really annoying, some of the attacks it has. Why does he keep getting, like, extra health? That really pisses me off. God damn it. See, I got no way to recover health. That's why that's unfair. I'm gonna die again. Yep. This game... I mean, not really. This part, I will admit, the last, like, third of the game has been kind of whatever. I mean, now... Now, even... I'll even take this part over forces. Most of the game has been a real treat, to be honest. Like, I've genuinely enjoyed this game. I'll probably play this game again. This part, probably not. This part has sucked, I will admit. Last couple levels have been kind of eh. But, even then, I understand it's supposed to get more difficult. That part with the laser wall, I want no part of that ever again. This part here. The bosses have all been just kind of whatever, but... This one's just super annoying. What also sucks is I get this guy down to, like, a quarter health, and then he refills his health bar. Oh, my God. Like, what am I supposed to do there? 
Like, he's just nuking the screen. Like, I can't stop that. Yep, then he picks up, a, like, a bunch of health all of a sudden. Nothing I can do about that. I'm getting tired. Like, I'm just tired in general. Like, I've had a good day, but... I want to do more than just play this game for eight hours. Well, not, you know what I mean, not really eight hours. But... Oh, Jesus. Dude, he really is, dude. I mean, look at these attacks. What even is that? But then at the same time, I played this game so long, I made it this far. I may as well just finish it. Like, how do you stop that? Like, I get it. If this is the final boss, it's supposed to be tough. But, like, this is just tough for all the wrong reasons. I mean, I do enjoy John Lee, but all right. It was a little random. He already got his one health refill, so assuming he doesn't get another one, although now he's just going to blow the screen up. <sighs> this is really frustrating, I'm not going to lie. Unavoidable attack, unavoidable attack. Tell the, the team making this game had a lot of fun making it until they got to like the last couple levels. Like, oh, just throw this button mashing thing in. Still better than the Frontier's final boss, or I want to just off myself. How do you take five years to make a game and that's your final boss? I have no idea. Bullshit again. What the fuck was that? God damn it again. Is there any strategy to this? Because I highly doubt it. It really... Like, half the time, I don't even know what he's doing. Like, I'll just be hitting him or whatever, and then the screen will just flash red, and I'm just hit. I, I don't know by what. Oh, hold on. He already got his, like, extra health or whatever. More Are you effing kidding me? Alright, so he gets at least three health bars that I can see. That's fucking messed up. 
There should at least be a checkpoint in between the phases. Oh, of course there's not. So he gets at least three health bars. And just by the way, that last time I was basically just mashing buttons, I wasn't even moving. Like, I was just hitting X and Y and X and Y over and over again. So I'm basically just going to do that again, because that actually had some success until the end. I don't know, but whatever. Wanna know how I beat that boss? You wanna see what I did? This is this is a very tough strategy. I just did this. I hit this a bazillion times. That's all I did. That's all I did. I didn't even move. That's how you beat that boss. If you try to dodge it, don't even bother. Just keep hitting that fucking button. That's how you beat that boss. Okay, apparently zero's in this from Mega Man. Can you see it now? Can you see why I created you? This is... This is your original body. Original and only body. She... That's all you do! It's just mash the two buttons over and over again. Oh, I don't care about the story. Wait, this is the final boss? That wasn't the final boss? I'm gonna see if I can beat it just by standing here. The hell am I watching right now? This is literally supposed to be like a supersonic boss fight. I already see that. There's even music like a supersonic boss fight. Alright, well, get to button mashing. How many faces is this guy gonna have? Like eight? Is it gonna be like a quick time event? The hell was that? Oh, okay, he gets another weapon. Yeah, well, at least my health refills too. That was at least fair. Why are my rings running out though? See, it's funny, because it's basically a freaking supersonic boss fight. Oh, this one, you actually do have to dodge stuff. It's a little different, I guess. Although your attacks seem to do a lot more damage. They literally just said, now the fight is won together until we're done. I mean, this is such generic lyrics. Uh-oh. Now he's really... Now that I've really pissed him off. Just go upside down for that last one. I have no idea what's happening, just by the by. What the hell? Wait, what? Okay. Well, I got a full health bar again, so I guess I can't really complain. Wait, did they actually give me, like, a checkpoint in between the phases or something? Are we just dancing or are we fighting? I don't even know what's happening here. Just like, try again, young Padawan. I'm getting really tired of this, to be honest. If this didn't specifically say final boss, I would just be like, I'm done. But what the hell? I think he just, like, clunks you in the head. It's just like, oh, you suck. Yeah, 
Okay, this part's actually really hard. The last two parts really weren't. All right, fine. Lol, 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 lol. Gotta watch this every single time. All right, whatever. I can't tell you how non-entertaining this is. Although, this kind of does remind me of the final boss in Sonic Heroes, where you're kind of like this, and it's really not that much fun, because you're just kind of floating through space, beating on Metal Sonic over and over again. But at least that was Metal Sonic. At least there was something to it. This I have no idea who the hell this guy is. I don't know why I should care about him. Like, wasn't the last, like, eight-hour battle enough? I gotta fight this guy more? <laughs> Twitch, all you all right, fine. I don't even know what I said that to, but this whole fight has felt like, all right, fine. <laughs> like, I really don't know what else to say about this fight. Oh, time for another weird part of the fight. Oh, maybe I'll beat him this time. He really does look like a rip-off Dragon Ball C character. Are you serious? Is there still more of this? Okay, I guess I'm just going to get my crotch stomped on. Oh, wait, maybe not. What the hell? Am I supposed to hit a button here? This is a quick time event. Alright. I guess this would be more epic if I had any investment in these characters. He really kind of... I can't think of the character's name, but the bottom half of him definitely looks like a... Uh, what do you call it? Dragon Ball Z character. He just punched... He literally just punched through him. That's such an anime move. It kind of does. It really does look like a GameCube game. You're right about that. Are you serious? The fight's still going? Oh. Oh, the, the freaking edit, the freaking HUD of the game was still up for the ending cutscene for some reason. I'm like, oh, I thought the fight was back on. All right, there you go. We just beat Spark the Electric Jester two. Although I think you can play as I think there's other playable characters. I'm not worried about that right now. The end is finally here for me, but at least you will carry my legacy after you destroyed me. No. No, I will not. Instead, we will dance. And then I will make that star appear. I do enjoy the lol, 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 okay? Well, you're the one who said it. I don't know what to tell you there. I was just lolling along with you there. Alright. Blue screen of death. That's how you know the game's over. Who the hell's this person? Who are you dicks? What the hell? Oh, okay, these are people. To be fair, I haven't been paying attention most of the time. Alright. Is that the end of the game? Like, I don't know. I don't really understand any of that. That's it. Time for the Sonic credit music. That's kind of cool. This part's like rendered better than the whole game. How? What are those? Their voices? Because nobody talked in this game. No, those are all the bad nicks. <laughs> I don't know who they were. <laughs> I'm just playing this game. I've been skipping all the cutscenes. So I don't know what, like, what any of this is about. Because the cutscenes are so janky and just long and boring. Otherwise, this would have taken me like four hours to beat if I watched all the cutscenes. I mean, these are obviously, like, bad nicks. Hacklemet, Kappa. Shyball, Leo, Neo. Neo and Leo, that's clever. That said, I will still check out Spark the Electric Jester 3. Hellshade. That was a really good game, though. I I've been looking forward to playing that for a while. Was it like a triple-A title? Like, no, but it was still a lot of fun. I thought the ending kind of went on way too long, but, I mean, that's a lot of games, to be honest. Definitely got my money's worth, and I'm still going to play it more off-screen, because there's a lot of extra paths I didn't take and stuff. I have no idea who any of these people are, by the way. Flint and Float. Like, I... I I bet they thought that name was a lot more clever than it actually is. Like, they're like, Flint and Float. The the unstoppable duo of Flint and Float. 
I do feel bad Astra died. That was kind of a sad scene if I cared more about Astra. Astra, you were a robot the whole time? Why didn't you tell me? Because I figured it was freaking obvious. Like, obviously she was a robot. Oh my god, his name is actually Super Fark. I was just kidding. They really called him Super, just like Sonic. You, are you kidding me? Well, we really are just not trying to disguise our copyright, like, infringements at all here. Where were the Chaos Crystals? I do enjoy the Chaos Crystals. Alright, I don't really need to watch the credits of this. This game was from 2017? Oh, it was made with Unity 2017. I was gonna say, this game is, like, newer than that. Alright, that's enough. Ooh, we got Tour Mode unlocked! Lol, 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 lol. Total playtime, 3 hours, 10 minutes. That's not even right, but alright. I have a better name. Stage time in this save, 2 hours, 9 minutes, playtime. Those are all wrong. Discord diamonds? Ooh, I got a, uh, achievement for beating the game. Alright. So let's go back. Let's look at the very clearly inspired Sonic Adventure 2 thing. Well, how do I get to tour mode and all the stuff I unlocked? Oh god, that was loud. Why isn't it letting me hit the menu button? Oh, because I'm hitting the wrong button. Gallery, what's in the shop? The right slot. I have to buy power ups now? Oh, I can buy random artwork. Say like the whole game I could just collect power ups, so I'm gonna buy them. Alright, what I just wanna see what some of these other modes are. Like what's tour mode? Is that like you just play the whole game at once or something? Alright, look at game stats. Tour runs complete. Apparently I have to do four of them. Um doesn't mean I'm going to, but Oh boy, I get to play through the game four more times. I thought there were multiple playable characters. At least that's what the menu made it look like, but... It was a fun game. I just want to see what this is. Tour mode. Stage journey. Stages only, no lives, beat all stages in a row. Full game, five lives, beat the whole game with only... That's not going to happen. Full game, beat the game with only five lives. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Bosses only, no lives, with only one life and health bar. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to do this right now, because it's going to take, like, hours. But that, that's kind of a cool thing. I do wish I could just select a stage without having to go all the way over and up and down and all that. Like, there's not just a list of stages. I really do have to find the Chaos Gems, or the Discord Diamonds, or the Paradox Prisms, if we were watching Sonic Prime, which was actually a really good show. Alright, I played this a lot longer than I planned to, but I did beat it. I got to a point where I'm like, I'm gonna beat it, so I may as well. Rather than do a separate stream where I just fight that one boss, which is probably what the next Spider-Man stream is gonna end up being. So, anyway. Appreciate everybody tuning in today. Um, actually, quite a few people did. Had a pretty good time. Uh, first ever stream on the new Xbox Series S. Uh, Spark the Electric Chester 2. It was a game I was looking forward to playing for a while. It, it was, it did live up to pretty much what I thought it was going to be. Some parts were even better than I thought. Some parts were not so good, but overall, pretty solid game. I really like it. I recommend it if you like Sonic Adventure 2 or really any Sonic game. But I'm a little biased in that regard. But either way, we will see you in the next one. Remember, we got Retromania coming up on Sunday. I don't know why Lola Lol is so funny. But anyway, we'll see you in the next stream. As always, stay chaotic and blur out. Chaos.
let's get retroactive. 